Hey, what is up everyone? Just going to do a very quick tutorial on how to fix the sound issue on the MacBook Pro and the Mac Rangers. So the very first thing I recommend is go into settings, which is usually on the dock, but if not, you can go into launchpad and then go into system preferences from there. And then you want to go across the sound. And this will allow you to choose uh, the kind of output speaker that you want to play through your laptop. Um, so if you want it to play through your speakers, then you want to click on internal speakers built in and then just let that be. Um, so usually sometimes if you use headphones or Bluetooth speakers, um, in some cases it won't recognize the new output system, so it might still tr try to pay, play the audio through the existing source. Um, so it's always good just to choose um, which type of speakers you want to be playing the audio through. Um, another good one is on the keys on the top of your keyboard. If you press F10, that will mute it, and then alternatively F10 to unmute. And then you can press F11 and F12 to toggle back and forth the volume as well. And also similar to the first step, uh, like I said, when you transition between maybe Bluetooth speakers to headphones back to internal speakers on the laptop, it can cause some problems at times. Uh, so usually I recommend to turn off Bluetooth uh, from the MacBook uh, just to eliminate any glitches that may be happening. Uh, this can be done by going up to the, the dock on the top of your screen and then click on the Bluetooth icon and then turn off Bluetooth. Um, that's just another surefire way of eliminating any glitches. Um, another good way is just to simply restart the device as well. Um, just might eliminate any bugs um, that might be occurring on the, on the computer itself. Uh, that's easily done by holding onto the power button, which is located on the top right corner of the keypad. So you just want to hold that for a few seconds, and then it will come up with a dialog box. And then you can either restart, sleep, cancel, shutdown. And then you want to opt for the restart. Uh, since I'm recording this video on here, I'm not going to um, do that as of now, but that's a good, a really good step to eliminate any glitches that might be happening. Um, I've always used that one uh, like last case scenario, and it always uh, works for me. So that one's definitely worth a try. And also, since Apple does roll out regular updates, it's always recommended um, to check for latest updates, and it's always good to look on the internet beforehand to see if there's any bugs particular particular to that update. So if you do have one of those updates that may be causing you problems, it's, it's always good just to check. And that's easily done by going into the App Store. And then you want to go up to the top to Updates. Just while this is loading. And then you can go to Updates. And then it will give you a list of updates. So it has a list of updates I've installed in the last 30 days. Uh, but if there was one, it's always recommended to update. And again, just to check if that is likely to help your problem at all. So um, hopefully some of these solutions and fixes have helped you guys. Um, if you have any other fixes or solutions yourself, uh, please share them below in the comments as they all do help. And thanks for watching and all the best.